asked if they talked about having children, all Big and Black said was they had and left it at that. WWE level up oh, announced they've, they've talked about it. You know, if you're having conversations about having kids, then, you know, the act of creating a child requires some things to be done, which means that conversation has been had and that act has been done. What's good, y'all? It's boy Ross back here again with another video. So I'm going to check out who every female WWE wrestler is dating or married to, a.k.a. It should have been me video. This is what this is. I already know what's about to happen in the comment section. A whole bunch of, it should have been me. That's that's all we're about to get here. A whole bunch of it should have been me's. Uh, we're going to check out some of these relationships that these individuals are in. I know a lot of you guys are already sick to your stomach. And some of y'all may not even know these individuals were in relationships. So it's probably going to make you even more sick to your stomach. But hey, you shouldn't look at it like that. Look at it as your queen, your special someone is out there waiting for you. They may not be a wrestler, but you know, they may be something else. So don't get your, you know, don't don't get too too mad about it. But I know you guys are not gonna listen. So we're gonna get right into this one. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's check out some of these relationships, man. Is who every female member of the WB roster is dating or married to in 2023. And at the end, I'll share who is single. Let's go. The Miz is the reason Alexa Bliss. Oh no, not the who's single. Oh brother. <laughs> This isn't single anymore. At SmackDown's premiere episode of Fox in October 2019, the A-lister introduced Bliss to his friend, Ryan Cabrera, a musician. Alexa and Cabrera immediately hit it off and started dating. Damn. Almost a year later, the two got engaged and got married in April 2019. Shout out to The Miz, man. That's that's an awesome wingman, bro. He gave him a huge alley. All you gotta do is, mm, is finish it. He did. 22. Then, in May 2023, Alexa Bliss announced she was pregnant with the couple's first child, a baby girl expected in December 2023. Wow. Santina Morella's daughter, Ariana Grace, is currently in NXT and is dating a fellow NXT wrestler. I didn't in even December know Santino had a daughter. I didn't know that. That's crazy. <laughs> Ray sure that she and Chain Stakes Lorenzo were a couple. Lacey Evans met her husband long before stepping foot. Oh, uh, apparently she she's out of WWE now. Didn't even know that, so. You know, that's a thing. But in a wrestling ring, the sassy Southern Belle began dating when she was 15 and got married in 2010 to Alfonso Estrella Cadillac. Alfonso works in construction and oh. also has an OnlyFans account, if you're into that. Together, Lacey Evans... Hey, yo, what the hell they got going on here, man? What the fudge? ...and her husband have two daughters. Keeping things on the SmackDown roster, Shotzi got engaged in July 2023 to a man named Jesus Alfaro. Okay. The wasn't shared a ton about their relationship, but it appears Alfaro is a musician. You do not want to okay. mess with Dana Brooks' partner. After ending a relationship with NBA basketball player Enos Cantor, Brooke began dating Cuban boxer Ulysses Diaz. I didn't know she was dating, uh, dating him. That's cr a lot. Well, granny, I don't be in these... <laughs> wrestlers lives like that so all a lot of this is fucking brand new to me but some of you guys may have known diaz actually got arrested in november 2021 oh. when someone started trolling him online ulysses went to the troll's house and punched him Whoa. that situation thankfully got sorted out and now dana brooke and ulysses are engaged to be married hey, don't Oscar's mess with him status is a mystery the empress of tomorrow doesn't talk much about her personal life so it's unknown if she's married or even dating but what is known is that asuka is a mother uh -huh. becky once revealed this in an interview with sports illustrated but how many children asuka has is unknown mm. nikki Cross is not only married to a former Keeping WWE it low wrestler, key. but someone she worked with on TV. When Cross joined WWE, she became part of the group Sanity. A little later, the faction would be joined by Killian Dane. This was kind of appropriate because Nikki Cross and Dane were already dating in real life. Oh. They continued to be boyfriend and girlfriend until 2019, when Cross and Killian Dane said their dues and became oh, husband and wife. Know that. That's Nikki awesome. Medium's husband is also a wrestler, but yeah. he's actually wrestling for WWE's competitor AEW. Keith Lee, After dating man. for several years. Yim married Keith Lee in February 2022. Currently, the couple doesn't have any children. Not one of yet. NXT's <laughs> top female stars, Cora Jade, is currently in a relationship with one of the top male stars on the black and gold brand. Jade became friends with Braun Breaker as they both joined WWE uh -huh. around the same time. In the I summer of 2022, though, the this. two became more than just friends. Jade and Breaker began dating and are still together today. Thea Hale is one of the youngest wrestlers on the WWE roster.
Foster, making her debut at just 18 years old. In June 2023, the NXT star shared that she was in a relationship with fellow WWE wrestler Nathan oh, Frazier, okay. who also competes on NXT. Sonya Deville is WWE's first openly gay wrestler. She actually officially came out as a lesbian when she was auditioning for WWE's Tough Enough reality TV show in 2015. It's funny, I didn't know that for a long time until like recently, which, you know, didn't have a problem with it. It wasn't like, oh no, she's a lesbian. Didn't really care. I just didn't know that until recently. <laughs> I never really just paid attention like that. So it's kind of my coming out party. In 2023, Deville got engaged to Tony Cassano, a fitness model who calls herself the real life Xena Warrior Princess. Tamina okay. Snuka is a That's veteran awesome. of the women's roster. The daughter of Jimmy Snuka isn't married, but she is a mother. Tamina has two daughters, which oh. came from a previous marriage. Former member of Toxic Attraction, Gigi Dolan, was married to AEW's uh -huh. Darby Allen. The two tied the knot in November 2018. I did know about that um, a little bit, you know, I was uh, given that information. Sally divorced in August 2020. However, Dolan has said they are still friends and hang out often. In mm. February 2023, Dolan began dating former NXT wrestler Nash Carter. Wait, or as he's did they say married? Hold on. I knew they were dating, but I didn't know they were married at one point. Gigi Dolan was married to AEW oh, okay, Darby yeah. Allen. The two tied the knot in November 2018, but Sally divorced in August 2020. Yeah. However, Dolan has said they are still friends and hang out often. In February 2023, Dolan began dating former NXT wrestler Nash Carter, or as he's currently known, Zachary Wentz. Alpha oh, okay. Academy graduate Maxime Dupree is seeing someone outside of WWE. Dupree is currently dating Canadian Football League. Oh, I know y'all are sick. I know y'all are sick to your stomachs right now. <laughs> Player Anthony Luke. I know y'all sick to your stomachs. Who plays Montreal Alouettes. Liv Morgan is dating a fellow wrestler, but it's uh -oh. not anyone on the current WWE uh -oh. roster. In February 2023, Ric Flair, of all people, confirmed that Morgan was in a relationship with Bo Dallas, oh. although he wasn't sure if they were married or not. It doesn't appear Liv is married, and it seems that she prefers to keep her dating life private. Yeah, because... <laughs> I didn't know that. Shout out to my boy Bo. My boy Bo Dallas, man. Good job, man. The Wyatt brothers, man. They they doing some great things. <laughs> ain't uh I think uh Bray Wyatt, I think I think doesn't he isn't he uh in a relationship or married? I believe it was with somebody that worked in WWE WWE or whatnot. Um y'all I'm sure, I don't know if he's going to talk about it in this video, but it was somebody that was working in WWE that he had a, a relationship, was, uh, had a relationship with. I don't know if he still is, but either way, i love to see it, man. As there are no pictures of Bo Dallas on her social media accounts. Yeah. Katana Chance, aka Casey Catanzaro, was previously in a relationship with Ricochet. Oh, uh, yeah, I did hear, hear about Chance this. Chance is someone outside of the wrestling world. In 2022, Katana shared that she was in a relationship with Nafuel Abuduhala, who works as a CrossFit trainer. In 2020, Tegan Knox revealed that she is bisexual. Around the same mm. time, the girl with the shiniest wizard also shared she was dating a woman named Sierra St. Pierre. Oh, okay. It appears they broke up, though, and now it seems that Tegan Knox is dating a woman named Ali. In 2019, okay. Carmella began a relationship with WWE commentator Corey Graves. The couple got married in April 2022, and Carmella became a stepmother to Graves' three children that's, from another marriage. In October awesome, of that same year, heartbreaking news would hit when Carmella shared that she had sadly suffered a miscarriage. Yeah. However, in May 2023, Carmella and Graves announced that they were expecting again, with the baby due in November 2023. Which is Even awesome. though she isn't a wrestler, Samantha Irvin yep, has been making a name for herself in WWE thanks to her passionate voice. Outside of announcing, Irvin is in a relationship with yep. Ricochet. The two made it public in late 2021, and in early 2023, Irvin and Ricochet got engaged. Man, my boy Ricochet. Love to see it. Love this. I'm, I'm happy for you, man. Aged. All but fire. Watch out for Rio, though. Kylie Ray is married to fellow wrestler Stevie Boy Xavier. The couple tied the knot in 2021 after dating for 13 years. Damn. Stevie Boy is an independent wrestler, primarily competing in Europe, and is best known for his time in insane championship wrestling. Natalia is a WWE veteran, so it isn't surprising that she's been married for longer than a lot of other WWE wrestlers. At the age of 12, Natalia met fellow Canadian wrestler Tyson Kidd. The two started dating years before making it to WWE, but officially mm. tied the knot in 2013. 
Union, their wedding was even shown on the Total Divas reality TV show. The other half of Didn't Toxic Attraction, JC Jane, doesn't share a lot of her personal life, but it does appear she either is or was in a relationship with independent wrestler Troy Hollywood. Hollywood posted a photo of the two on his okay. Instagram account in January 2022, but besides a few other posts, both haven't shared much about their relationship. Former Diamond Mind Which is fine, man. I, I can appreciate someone just trying to keep their relationship low key. There's nothing wrong with that. It's y'all relationship, especially if someone's like a high profile figure. You don't want to let too many people in your business. And, you know, it, it, it's the world we live in. You know, people want to see what's going on, you know, who you're talking to. And sometimes you may not want that. You know, that comes with a lot of caveats. You know, when things are good, things are good. And then, you know, people can say some mean and rude and hateful things towards you, you know, or your partner. That has nothing to do with what you got going on. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm all for, you know, these individuals, wrestlers, you know, entertainers, whatever, keeping their relationships low key. Doesn't mean they don't love the person. It's just they know what comes with their popularity and, you know, their stardom, you know, and sometimes they may want to be able to have their significant other not be, you know, I guess you can say the word would be not uh, bombarded with comments from complete strangers they don't know so member ivy neal became a married woman in december 2023 the nxt wrestler said i do to a man named ari levy who works as a project manager at a company called pete roofing in maitland florida okay. it's not a huge secret that emma is in a relationship with fellow raw superstar ridrick moss formerly known as madcap moss i didn't know that shared that they were dating in august 2022 shortly before emma made her wwe return then in june 2023 moss proposed to emma and oh, the boy. two became engaged nxt wrestler blair davenport used to be in a relationship with new japan pro wrestling Wrestling star Will Ospreay. Oh. The couple even plan on moving to Japan together, but split in 2021. Currently, it appears Davenport is dating former NXT UK wrestler Josh Terry. Okay. The EST of WWE, we Bianca know. Belair, put a ring on it in 2018 when she married Montez Ford. Belair oh, also boy. became a parent as she's the stepmother of Ford's two children from a previous relationship. The Karen of WWE, Chelsea it. Green, got engaged on her 28th birthday in 2018. The lucky man yeah. is Zack Ryder. Of course. he's better known today, Matt Cardona. Green and Ryder said their I do's and got married on New Year's Eve 2021. Awesome. Ronda Rousey had an accomplished MMA career before her first WWE match, which is how she met her husband, fellow MMA fighter Travis Brown. The two started dating in 2015, and by August 2017, mm -hmm. they were married. Four years later, the couple would have their first child, a girl named Lakea. Even though she doesn't appear that often anymore, Maurice is still a signed WWE wrestler, and so is her husband, The Miz. The yeah, couple has been married since 2014, one. and they have two daughters. MMA fighter turned WWE wrestler Lola Vice may or may not be dating someone. In 2021, about a year before making her WWE debut, Vice shared she's in a relationship with NFL football player Donovan Peoples-Jones. Oh. However, the couple hasn't shared any pictures or anything of them together recently, but they may just prefer not to post about their relationship. NXT's Kiana James celebrated her one-year anniversary with her husband in January 2023. James is married to a man named Zach Klingensmith, who it appears works as a production manager at a company called PE Solar. All right, okay. Okay. Works with Ivy Neal's husband. Sticking to NXT, Lyra Valkyrie has been dating Irish independent wrestler LJ Clearly since 2014. The couple Damn. have been together for nearly a decade and they share pictures regularly. Becky Lynch began dating Seth Rollins in January 2019, about and about eight months later, the two got engaged. In 2020, Lynch announced she was pregnant and gave birth to the couple's daughter, Rue, in December of the And ever since then, my boy Seth has just been raiding Becky Lynch's closet like it's going out of style like it's going out of business becky you gotta you gotta stop it man <laughs> that year in june 2021 lynch and rollins officially tied the knot and became husband and wife wwe host mackenzie mitchell's partner is also in wwe in 2021 mitchell announced she's engaged to wwe commentator vic joseph the two oh tied wow the knot in 2022 okay they have two children together a boy and a girl it's not shocking to many that scarlet is a married yeah. woman since she works with her husband regularly yeah. on tv Kieran cross and scarlet have been dating since 2018 and got married in april 2022, shortly before both of them returned to WWE. Raquel Rodriguez is the tallest woman on the WWE roster, so it's kind of fitting that she's dating one of the tallest men on the roster, and that guy is Braun Strowman. Whoa. Rodriguez and Strowman started off as just Didn't friends, know that. but over time, the relationship grew into something more, and My they became boy. girlfriend and boyfriend. My boy Braun, all right, man. Hey, I'm happy for Braun. That, man, I love to see this. I didn't know. It makes sense. I love it. My boy, Brian. 
I see what you're doing, Brian. <laughs> Zelina Vega is another one of several WWE wrestlers married to someone in a rival company. In Vega's case, she is married to Malachi Black, formerly known as Aleister Black in WWE. Apparently, they I met when Black did. slid into Zelina's DMs. Regardless, the couple wait, got wait, married wait, in wait, 2018, wait, hold on. Hold on, wait. as Aleister Black in WWE. Apparently, they met when Black slid into Zelina's DMs. Reg hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I think I did hear about this, but my boy. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> you never know. You slide in the DMs, you may end up with a lifetime partner. You never know. Regardless, the couple got married in 2018. When asked if they talked about having children, all Vega and Black said was they had and left it at that. WWE level up oh, and out. They, they've talked about it. You know, if you're having conversations about having kids, then, you know, the act of creating a child requires some things to be done, which means that conversation has been had and that act has been done. Simple. That's, that's simple. If I'm having a conversation with you, talking about having kids, oh, I've been in that thing. I mean, I've been in that thing. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Sir Kelly Kincaid is dating one half of the tag team Pretty Deadly. Kincaid made it public in October 2022 that she is dating Elton Prince. Oh. When she joined WWE in 2019, she was zesty, already though, in a relationship that's, that's, before that. Shu's cool. boyfriend was an independent wrestler by the name of Bison XL. I say was because in 2021, Winnie Chu and Bison went from girlfriend and boyfriend hey. to wife and husband. The Queen Charlotte Flair has found her king. In January 2020, Charlotte got engaged to Andrade, uh -huh. who was also a WWE wrestler at the time. However, However, about a year later, Andrade would leave WWE and join AEW, where he currently wrestles. Despite the change in employers, Charlotte and Andrade stayed together and got married in May 2022. It's insane that in 2020. Now, apparently, I don't know how true this is, but apparently they have unfollowed each other on Instagram. So I don't know how true that is. Who knows? Um, hopefully, everything's good with them. You know, I'm not here to see people divorce or anything like that. I, I want to see long lasting marriages, man. Uh, that's. I'm, I'm all for that. This is a good feel video, man. Some of y'all may not feel the same way, but this is a good feel video. A3, Trish Stratus is a full-time member of the WWE roster, but it is awesome. Since she's a veteran, Trish has been married the longest out of almost every woman in WWE. In 2006, Trish Stratus married her high school sweetheart and longtime boyfriend, Ron Fisico. Ah. Fisico had a career as a competitive bodybuilder and fitness model. Currently, though, he works as a fitness instructor. Trish and Ron have two children, a 10-year-old son, and a six-year-old daughter. Okay. WWE's resident streamer, Stevie Turner has been married for over a year. Turner began dating fellow NXT wrestler and one half of Pretty Deadly, Kit Wilson, several years ago. In March 2022, Stevie and Kit shared that they took their relationship to the next oh, level man, and so put they, a ring on it. That's they crazy. They both got them some girls. They be acting a little zesty, but they still they both got them some women, okay? Niven, formerly known as Dewdrop, is a married woman. In 2021, Didn't Niven notice. celebrated her wedding day with her husband. However, the name of Niven's partner is not known. Uh. Aaliyah James hasn't been seen since NXT UK shut down, but she's still part of the WWE roster. The 24-year-old is currently dating fellow WWE wrestler Noam Dar, and they've uh. been together for about seven years. Tiffany Stratton is nice. an upcoming talent in WWE's women's division. Outside of the ring, though, Stratton is seeing Ludwig Kaiser. It appears the couple has been uh, dating for a while, but the relationship I did um, here. Well, you guys let me know on the live streams that they are dating. So in public on New Year's Eve, 2023, Candice Ray was already married. Wait, oh, making her who you was with, Gunther? My, my, my bad, Walter. Who, who, who Walter was with? So you're smiling ear to ear. Look at that. Look like they eating some steak. Is that fries? Steak and fries? Look like fries. I don't know. I think it's smiling ear to ear, bro. I know that smile. I know that smile. I've had that smile before. This, that. All right, let's take a picture, guys. Oh, man, come on. We ain't got to do this. Eve, she was a 23. Candice <laughs> Ray was already married before making her WWE debut. The Poison Pixie got married to Mr. Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, mm -hmm. in 2016. LeRae joined her husband in WWE in 2017, but took time off in 2021 when she became pregnant. In February 2022, Candice and Johnny's child, Quill Gargano, was born. Like other wrestlers in this video, Tatum Paxley is dating someone on the NXT roster. That someone is Javier Bernal. It's unknown exactly how long they've been boyfriend and girlfriend, but it seems that they met after 
after becoming WWE wrestlers. Electra Lopez, on the other hand, is married to someone outside of WWE. Lopez's husband is named Eric Santiago, who runs a fitness gym in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Electra is also a stepmother to an 18-year-old daughter. Valhalla, oh, wow. formerly known as Sarah Logan, is married to her fellow Viking raider, Eric. They had their oh, wedding in 2018, and it was appropriately Viking-themed. I did not they know that. That's pretty cool. They welcomed their first child, a boy named Raymond. Raw backstage interviewer Jackie Redman first met Emmett Blois in 2015. After four years, they got married and are still together today. NXT star Lash Legend may or may not be dating a former NFL football player. In 2022, Legend shared photos of Donald Lee, who had played for the Miami Dolphins and Green Bay Packers. Mm. However, there are no longer any photos of Donald Lee on Lash Legend's social media accounts, so mm. the two may have broken up. Continuing with NXT, Don't Valentina know. Ferez has been married for over four years. In February 2019, Valentina officially became Mrs. Ferez when she married a man named Jean Carlos. Rhea Ripley is Dominic Mysterio's mommy, <laughs> so then who is the pop? Well, that'd be AEW yep. wrestler Buddy Matthews, <laughs> formerly known as Buddy Murphy in WWE. Yep. Despite working for different companies, the couple has been dating since 2020. But in 2023, Ripley and Matthews took their relationship to the next level and got engaged. He finally got the last laugh. I'm happy for you, bro. Because boy, oh boy, what they got doing, what they got Rhea doing on WWE television is would be sick. To my stomach I had to sit there and watch that that mm -mm. i'm happy for you bro i'm happy for him man he got the ultimate dub <laughs> Zoe Stark has been in a relationship that's just as long, if not longer, than her wrestling career. Stark is dating a man named Tom Howard. Howard is a retired wrestler oh. and actually worked as a WWE training instructor, working with people like John Cena, Samoa Joe, The Miz, and others. Zoe Stark and Tom Howard have been dating for about 10 years, but aren't married currently. Amari Damn, bro, that, that, that age gap looked kind of wild, too. Miller, Brooklyn Barlow, Danny Palmer, and Fallen Henley are all wrestlers who are currently single or haven't made their relationship status public. Likewise, Izzy Dame, Jakar Jackson, Carmen Petrovic, Kalani Jordan, Mako Satomura, Sol Ruka, Luis Leon, and Nikita Lyons are all in the same boat. The Rock's daughter, Ava Ray. Oh, I know it's some. I know. I know y'all. Nikita single? Yes! <laughs> and isn't currently dating anyone either. This isn't too much of a surprise since it appears the fourth generation wrestler is focused on her WWE career. Also, she should imagine be. dating a girl and her dad is The Rock. <laughs> that is a wild conversation. Like, the, oh man, I'm, I'm dating The Rock's daughter and you gotta meet The Rock, the people's champ. Oh, bro, <laughs> gotta be on your P's and Q's. <laughs> for sure or you're gonna catch a fucking rock bottom disrespect her <laughs> On the SmackDown roster, Hit Row's B Fab isn't dating or married, as far as we know. Aaliyah, Isla Dawn, Kayla Braxton, Kathy Cully, and all three members of Damage Control are flying solo. Bailey, oh, I know y'all happy about that one. <laughs> had been dating independent wrestler Aaron Solo since 2010, and the two got engaged in 2016. However, the couple made the tough decision to call off the engagement in February 2021 and broke up. However, Bailey and Solo are still friends and continue to support each other. On Raw, Caden Carter and Zyla Lee appear to be single. Despite how it might appear, Indy Hartwell is not married to Dexter yeah. Loomis in real life and seems to be single as well. I know you're happy Isler about that. Seen anyone, but came out as bisexual and shared in 2013 that she was seen a female at the time. Something you definitely <laughs> want to see is the time <laughs> Elmo and Sonny did it in WWE. <laughs> to watch that, hit the video that's on so, screen. It's so funny that that's the next clip. Oh, we've already seen that, but damn it, bro. That shit's always fucking hilarious. Fucking elbow. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. I knew about the Shayna Baszler stuff. Y'all had let me know that also in the chat as well. But yeah, man, there's some ladies out there that's still single. You know what I'm saying? Still single, ready to mingle. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, no, I love videos like this. Just seeing these individuals, you know, uh, sharing their love for one another, whether they post it or not. You know, I, I love to see that, man. And it's cool to see some of these wrestlers uh, meeting their significant others in the field that they're doing, uh, like in the same field. And it makes sense. You're traveling the roads together or you're always at the same, uh, you know, always at the same show. 
you know, and you have a lot of downtime. If you're not out there wrestling, you, you build relationships, you build friendships, you build bonds, and sometimes you end up building a, a family with that person. So it's always cool just to, you know, see these moments, man. So I know some of y'all still gonna be like, it should have been me, but your time will come. It may not be with this individual. It may be with someone even better for you, man. And that's how you got to look at it. No, you guys are not listening, but it's okay. But uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel Road to 150K. And I'm still here to speed the YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.